day, sir. Good day, ma'am. Good day, mate. Another day begins, and it begins with editing today. Actually, I went through the comments section first. I was sort of scratching my head. And this isn't a lot of experts. Experts who know my dogs better than me. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, guys. The dogs can see out. They can still see out. There's a window in the back. You can lay on the bed, look out the window. There's a window on the floor. You can look through there. Diesel can just sit up, and he can see out all the windows. He's that big. Like, it's not that. The windows aren't really that high. And I can't put his uh, cage there. I tried. Believe me. Already thought of it. Good idea. Already thought of it. Tried it. Doesn't fit. But other than that goofy stuff in the comment sections, uh, I do read them every day, so don't you worry. I've tried to respond to as many as I can. Since I've been at home, it's been a little strange. There is more to my life than just on the road. Unfortunately, my vlogs aren't really about my job. Uh, I just happen to be interested in trucking, and I happen to drive a truck for a living in own business. And that's what a lot of my content ends up sort of being centered around. I know, I know. You're trucker Josh. I know. I get it. But uh, this vlog that you're watching right now, like Trucker Josh Vlogs, the channel, the whole idea of it is the story of the guy behind the wheel. The story of my life. I mean, if I ever started doing something else, the vlogs would just change, but I would probably stay Trucker Josh because that's where I got my start, right? That's, if people always, people would come up to me and ask, why are you called Trucker Josh? You don't drive truck. Then I would tell them, well, you know, I love to travel. And I started off traveling. And I got known as Trucker Josh. You can just call me TJ then, whatever. I really don't know what I would do in that situation. <laughs> I don't see myself ever quitting driving truck. But I love it too much. It's therapy for me. Anyways, let's get this day on the road. This comment section is depressing me. Let's go have some fun. Everything is so clean and nice, yes. Clean and nice. Clean floors. Clean, clean, clean. Look at all this clean stuff in here. And who's in here eating his meal? Who's in here? Why are you going there, man? You know you don't have to be in there. You don't have to be in there. Come on, get out of there, man. Get out of there. Good oh, boy. Why don't you get on my seat? <laughs> you found the bone, yeah. All right, well, we're excited to get on the road here. We're excited to get going. Uh, we're going to Emo, Ontario, E-M-O, Emo, Ontario. Got one drop there, then we're going to Thunder Bay, Ontario. One more drop there, then we're going to Guelph, Ontario. From there, we're switching things up a little bit and we're headed east, from what I heard. I heard rumors it might be Newfoundland. So get ready, I hope you brought your swimming suits. We might be going on the ferry. But that'll be in several days, because it'll take like four or five days to get there, and with all the drops I'm doing and everything, so. Hang tight, it's gonna be a fun ride. By the way, I just want you to know that Sergeant is doing so good with his training. I know, I know, I haven't been filming the training sessions we've been doing. Doesn't mean I haven't been training him. I know that it seems that if you don't see it in the vlog, you think that it didn't happen. I know, but I was just taking Sergeant around the parking lot here. He is actually better than Diesel. You hear that? Oh, you're gonna let him take your bone? Diesel, don't let him take your bone. I'm just a nice guy, man. I'm just a nice guy. Sergeant's honestly the alpha already because Diesel just lets him have whatever. Diesel, you gotta fight for your stuff. Fight for it. He took my bone. He's got all the bones. Take one back. He doesn't need all the bones. Sergeant, you don't need all the bones. That one was Diesel's. Leave it. Hey, hey. You got one right here. It's never good enough. I need them all. You're a good boy, Diesel. <laughs> so we're getting ready to go here. Uh, Sergeant, like I was saying, is doing so good. I took him on uh, for a walk off leash in the fence yard here. He wouldn't even leave my side. He wouldn't even leave my side. Diesel sees like a dust ball or like, you know, a piece of paper blowing across the yard and he'll chase it. Ah! Sergeant, nope, won't leave my side. You're such a good boy, Sergeant. You're doing so good with your training. He knows sit and stay and lay down. He's pretty, well, yeah, he's potty trained. He hasn't made an accident in a long time. So, it's going really good, guys. It's going really good. I don't film everything. I can only put on the internet about 10, 15, 20 or so minutes 
of my day. But believe it or not, there's a whole lot more minutes in a day than just 15 to 20. So I don't just sit around twiddling my thumbs in that time. I'm actually working and working with the dogs. Mostly them because uh, I don't know, I love my dogs and I love spending time outside with them, letting them go off leash. I don't like filming every single little second of my life, so some stuff just doesn't make it. I'll, I'll try seeing if I can get some more of that in the vlog for you guys, so you guys will believe me. It doesn't matter what I say, there's always a group that doesn't believe anything I say anyway, right? So, Alright guys, you guys ready to go? Are you ready to go? Let's go! Let's go to Ontario! Okay, so I just backed under the trailer here, Drop the paperwork, uh, and it's a brand spanking new. 53 foot van trailer, nice and shiny and everything, all the bells and whistles, they all work. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so, one second, I got a list of locations that I'm going to here. I'm just going to tell you the towns that I'm going to, alright? Is that alright? You guys paying attention? Let me know if I say your town. Okay, we're starting off here, Winnipeg, Manitoba. From here, we go to Emo, Ontario, Thunder Bay, Ontario. Capus Casing, Ontario, Peterborough, Ontario, Welland, Ontario, Guelph, Ontario, Apsley, Ontario, Thetford Mines, Quebec, St. Pacombe, Quebec, Pavos, Quebec, then Truro, Nova Scotia, Lens, Oluk, Newfoundland, and Clarenville, Newfoundland is our last drop. We're going right to the East Coast. We're going to Newfoundland. We are going on the ferry. So like I was saying, I hope you guys all packed your swimsuits. I did. Because we're going to the ocean. We're going on a ferry. We're going on a boat, Diesel. We're going on a boat. Hey, Diesel, can you show the people that you can still see outside? People are concerned that you can't see outside. Here. No, no, you don't need to sit down. Get up, bud. Come on, up, 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 up. Who's there? Who's there? See? Show the good people you can still see out the windows. Oh, such a good boy. Hey, and if you can't see out those windows, there's another window down there. Good boy. You can even look out the window while you're lying down. How about that? How about that? All right, off I go. Put the parways on. Pulling my nice new shiny trailer. Continue 6.8 kilometers on 59. Absolutely. Get my skin. 
schedule back on track because it always goes so far out of whack when I'm at home because I stay up late and sleep late. Nothing beats good old southeast Manitoba. Tell you what. If only we had warmer weather during the winter. That's the only downside. But if we had warmer weather, more people would move here and it would get ruined. The thing that makes this part of the country so great is that there's so few people here. Everything stays natural. It doesn't get all built over and mowed down and developed. It just stays exactly how it was. That's why I'm sort of glad for our winters. I'm glad for our winters. It keeps people away. <laughs> it keeps Manitoba, Manitoba, and it keeps it from changing. Because nobody wants to move here. It's too cold. That's all right with me. More nature for me. Just saying. That's what Toronto's for. Everyone can go move to Toronto. It's break time. It's break time. It's break time. You know what that means, guys. You guys want to go outside? You want to go outside? No? No? Okay. All right. Well, then. And we'll just get going again. All right. Put it in gear. Let's get going. <laughs> they know I'm not going to drive away with a camera in my hand. You guys are smart. Okay, let's get this done. Let's get you guys drained. Let's get everything in order. Hey, look, we have company. Hey, life. Oh. Well, I was called him a farmer. Why would I call him a farmer? A boater? A fisher? Run and frolic. And that too. Yes, that is why we came outside. Good boy. He's getting so good, he knows where to put it. Right there in the ditch, that's where you put it. Very nice. Held it the whole time. Good boy. Oh, you're going to get tangled up in the tree there, bud. Good boy. Explore, man. Look at that. He looks like a little bear. I almost called him bear. Just about. Because his dad was so massive. And this guy's all black, right? So I was going to call him bear because he's like a black bear. But decided on sergeant instead. And the next one. And the next one. Go on, give her diesel. Go on down there. Sniff around. Give it a good look over. Give it a good look, see. Right, this grass is nice over here. It's a little green. It's just not quite all the way green, but it's green enough, man. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, it's not good right there. Yeah. Don't get tangled up in the tree, man. You find your perfect spot and you claim it. All right, bud, come on. What are you doing? You think you're gonna get out? You already had your turn, man. You already had your turn. We're about to turn off the 17 onto the 71. I've never been down this highway in my life. We're about to turn on to uncharted territory. Going down towards Fort Francis. Completely new roads. Too bad it's gonna be dark. But tomorrow we get to take the 11. I believe it is. On 71. All the way from Emo, all the way over to Thunder Bay. So that's new uncharted territory for me too. So that'll be fun. See, I've never been in this turning lane before. Ever. I usually keep going straight there, right? Drive 154 kilometers on 71. Uncharted territory. <laughs>
see those in front of me, guys? Those are two moose. Moose diesel, look, moose. There they go. There they go. Whoo, finally got some on film. Oh, I thought I saw something. Funny, I was just thinking, you know, I'm in Ontario. I should probably be, you know, keeping a bit of a closer eye on the road because there could be moose. And what do you know? As I was thinking that, boom, there's two moose. Just hanging out. Diesel, you see those guys? They were little, little tiny mooses. Mooses, meese, whatever. Whew, I'm all pumped up now. Oh, that's better than a can of Red Bull. little town emo is I was expecting you know teenagers everywhere walking around with black hair and spikes and piercings everywhere and you know emo kids you know no no emo is an emo how about that so we made it and I found a parking spot in town here a little ways away from the customer I'll be there first thing in the morning for them, and then we'll be on our way to Thunder Bay, and then Kappa's Casing, and yada, 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 boom, Newfoundland. Ferry. That's what we're moving towards. So thanks for joining me today, guys. It was a short drive, but it was fun. We almost hit a couple moose. I hope that footage turned out, because that was pretty cool that I actually got them on camera. See what comes of it. And in the morning, I can't wait to show you this view here right now. I know you can't see it, but... Down there, down the hill, there's a nice river there and a super nice view out that way. And I know you guys can't see it right now, but I'll show you tomorrow. You'll just have to tune in anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget to go down below to the links. See the links in the description down there. Click the Show More button. Uh, give me a like on Facebook if you want. Let's be friends. You can be friends on my personal Facebook if you want to. Uh, there's a Twitter account there. There's all kinds of stuff. Instagram. Oh, yeah. I am LinkedIn and hooked up, but not LinkedIn with the site LinkedIn. I don't know what that's all about. I'm not part of that. Anyways, see you tomorrow.